Hello friends, I, Dr. Prashan Moti, hearty welcome all of you in Langley's Educators Historical YouTube channel. The basic purpose of this video is to provide information about online examination of Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar Maratwada University, Aurangabad. So it's my humble request to all of you to watch this video till end and kindly like, subscribe and comment if you haven't done it before. Friends, before taking online examination, candidate must have certain requirements. The first requirement candidate must possess is Android phone or desktop or laptop. Student can log in for examination through one of these devices with working front camera as webcam. Android phone and laptop have inbuilt front web cameras, but the desktop doesn't have inbuilt front web cameras, so we need to purchase separate front web camera. Make sure that mobile phones and laptops are fully charged during the examination day. Third important thing we must be available in our device is official photo ID in JPG format. The file size must be less than 100 KB. We can crop official photo ID and reduce the size less than 100 KB. Candidate should make sure that they are using updated browser such as Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. Candidate must have an active internet connection. It's a rainy season. We knew that in which part of our home there is a good internet speed and candidates may even set up a home wireless network commonly known as Wi-Fi. Even we need to keep the stationery as required like pen, pencil, rough sheet, delivery, taking online examination. Uh, dear students, now let us understand online examination system. First, we need to browse the examination link bamu.uniaonline.in. After surfing the link, candidates need to understand how to log in. First, the candidates are instructed to use Username as your PRN number. Password is your date of birth in day, date, month and year format. Then we need to click on active test and select appropriate test from the list. Then we can click on sign in button. At the end, candidate will be redirected to the face authentication process. So when we are redirected to hall ticket photo ID verification or face authentication process, please click on select file and upload your photo ID. As I have already mentioned, photo ID must be in JPG format only. For photo ID, Candidate can upload your hall ticket or any valid ID which has your recent photograph but as I have already mentioned it, it should be it must be less than 100 KB. Then candidate need to look into the webcam so that the system verifies your face for authentication. Candidate must be very careful during face authentication. If your face does not match with the uploaded photo ID, you will be not allowed to start the examination. So candidate need to understand how webcam capture the photo. Actually the webcam capture your face randomly for security purposes and verifies various aspects to ensure integrity of online examination. 
so the university will be monitoring the entire online examination any malpractices found on candidates end will disallow candidate to continue the examination that's why candidate will see various warning before candidate disconnect from the examination that's why please be alone in the room during the examination ensure there is no noise or talking in the room during the examination during monitoring if more than one person is found in the nearby areas your examination will be put on hold and further action would be taken so after the photo successfully upload you your exam timer will only start now let's understand how online system run and functions of different icons candidates full name is displayed at top left of the page candidates remaining exam time will be displayed at top right of the page question number marks for question bookmark of a question is displayed below the top row light gray box is the actual question displayed to user options section display all options available for the question uh, in front of us and candidate should click on one of the options to mark their answer now further we need to understand navigation questions bookmark invalid and clear and submit test icons navigation bottom center of exam page has four navigation links first previous next last to move across questions bottom left of the page has three buttons clicking on questions button shows list of questions and candidates responses to each question clicking on bookmark buttons adds a bookmark icon to the question in case user wants to revisit to the question later clicking on invalid button adds invalid icon to the question in case user believes the answers are incorrect clear and submit button bottom right of the page has two icons clicking on clear deselects option if candidate has selected one clicking on submit test button prompts candidate to confirm that candidate wants to submit or end the test now let us look at uh, we need to understand how to select option and confirmation about whether the option is saved or not in the system so uh, clicking on one of the ratio buttons next to option select and saves the option for the question displayed if the option is saved successfully a green notification bar confirming save is displayed at the top of the page in case of any error a red bar appears candidate should immediately notify to it administrator administrators appointed in each and every colleges in case of a error or technical problem there is also one option post his query option is there so candidate should close his browser post his query on the support chat to get solution for his query and log in again candidate will be allowed maximum 3 times to rejoin the examination now le let us um, understand and uh, we uh, candidate must have knowledge about how to clear the option 
and save message after option selection. Sometimes very quickly or randomly or haphazardly, hurriedly, we click on the wrong option. option. So during that time, don't get panic. Clicking on clear button, deselect the option for the displayed question. If the candidate has selected one, and if no option was selected, this button does not have any effect. A light yellow bar confirming clear appears on top of the page if the option was cleared for the question successfully. And then we can select the right option uh, if you feel so. To move on, candidate must have aware about how system displays list of questions with its state when the end candidate click on question icon this section or table shows all questions along with option selected by the candidate for each question all the question numbers are clickable and will take the candidate directly directly to the click question now let us try to understand a very essential icon, bookmark icon and its use. Uh, uh, bookmark uh, questions, actually it also shows in bookmark questions and bookmark button marks the displayed question with the bookmark icon. So uh, bookmark icon is displayed in the question information section of the page alongside question number and marks. Bookmarks are useful if the candidate wants to revisit or go back to a question later. If you feel so that certain question have, must have a different kind of option then uh, or if you are confused with a certain question you can bookmark this question and revisit uh, a question later on as timer is moving on. Uh, now let us understand invalid icon and its use. Clicking on the in invalid icon marks the displayed question with invalid icon is there and invalid is useful if the candidate believes that the answers are incorrect all the answers are incorrect so invalid icon is displayed in the question information section of the page alongside question number and marks uh, now uh, it's also very significant to know submit button and submit confirmation message so candidate may click on the submit test button if he or she wants to submit or end the test before the timer expires. If the time expires, the exam will be submitted automatically. Candidate exam is submitted, uh, we can say automatically. And after this, submit confirmation message appears on the screen. So confirmation message is displayed before submitting the test and candidate should choose very carefully. So test once submitted cannot be reopened. So uh, we must be very careful while clicking on submit confirmation uh, message confirmation message so uh, thank you very much for watching the video i believe in sharing is caring please pass the link of this video to the needy candidates for smooth conduct of online examination kindly hit the bell icon for future academic videos all the best for online examination